Spencer. Come here. Oh, this is a hoot. This is a hoot. <laughs> he is just out of reach. Classic cat moment, but like, I broke my foot. I cannot reach him. I can't even get up to try to reach him. Oh, all right. There's my sweet baby. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And today we are doing a Redbird Vintage Box unboxing. Oh, so good. Oh, well, but Captain Jack needs to snuggle, so. <laughs> Look at this little ham. Now, I am super excited about this because when I started posting regular content on my channel, on the shutdown, it was the Red Bird vintage boxes. Those were the unboxings that I was doing. So this is definitely kind of a back to my roots kind of video. And this past month has been wild. I broke my foot, I was in the hospital. A lot has been going on. So having a wonderful Red Bird vintage box of my own is just the perfect comfort video for me to do right now. I'm very excited. Okay, baby, I think you can go down now. Should we go down? Mwah. Yes, okay. Now, Redbird Vintage Box, they know me. I've done this for quite some time. They know my likes, dislikes. I actually put in my request prior to a vacation I did, and um, I put, put it in a little early, and they said, come back and do more requests. And I said, nope, I'm not gonna do more requests. You just know my style, so find me some great items. So this is pretty exciting. Typically, when I would open these boxes before, I would do a whole slew of requests and I would also um, buy add-on items. And this doesn't have any add-on items, no requests. I just told them to pick out items that are my style. Loud, over the top. Um, I like statement pieces. I like things that like Steven Tyler would wear. I love Art Nouveau, Revival from the 70s, things like that. And uh, this is the Marie box. And so let's open her up. Cut, 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 cut. Now, one thing I love about Redbird Vintage Box is no box is alike because they're all vintage items. That is amazing. They customize it to you. It's a woman run business. It's a business that has a sustainable product, which is vintage. So amazing. Okay, y'all, you get the first look. They always wrap so beautifully. Look, oh, the paper is different. So the paper used to be pink and now it's these gorgeous red polka dots. Oh, I will reuse that for sure. Ooh, and look, 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 everything's packaged so pretty. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so this package here, um, it has a little, ooh, a little crescent moon pin extra on it. I love crescent moons. Now this is heavy, so I'm gonna wait to open this one. And let's open this. Let's open this one first. Let's see what's in it. Oh, and there's a note, it says, Cup and cocktail stirrer for your cabinet. Oh, okay. It's just for show. Oh, I love this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my God. This is perfect. So I did say if they had anything weird to include it in my box. And this is definitely a little weirdo. And I love it. This is perfect for my cabinet of curiosities. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I mean, I'm assuming this is, no, this is hand painted Nippon. So this is made in Japan. Um, I kind of assumed this was made in Germany, but it is not, it is Japan. That is perfect for my cabinet of curiosities for Halloween. What a little weirdo. I love this piece. Okay. Now let's dig into the bundle of accessories. I really do like this crescent moon pin. I'm very much into the crescent moon aesthetic, so they definitely pay attention. All right. 
So I got the Marie box and this says the Marie box includes four accessory items, okay? And sometimes they'll include little extras because of extra wear or they don't wanna include it as a full item. So I would say that's what this moon pin was. It was an extra because it had some wear. Also, she said in the note about the cup that the cup actually leaks. Uh, so that does have some wear too. So I'm guessing this was a, a bonus extra item as well. Ooh, okay, we got a really fancy scarf. Now, if this doesn't say Steven Tyler, I don't know what does. Look at that paisley and it's got some gold shimmer to it. Oh yes, oh yes, see? There we go. That feels very 1970s, very rock and roll. I love it. Ooh, and we'll open up the little bag. I love these little reusable bags. It's so nice that uh, they use these because you can use these for all kinds of things later. Ooh, and this is the stir stick she must have been, was talking about in the other uh, note. Ooh, I need to cut this open a little. Cut, 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 cut. Oh, this is neat. What a little weirdo. I love it. They definitely, uh, they definitely got me little weirdos and that's what I asked for. So I'm, I love this. This might be one of my favorite things they've ever sent me. And it's not even an accessory. It's just a weird item. So thank you so much. Okay, next thing in the pouch. Ooh, big and chunky silver bracelet. I love big and chunky silver bracelets. Oh, this is exactly my style. 100% my style. Um, ooh, this one's gonna be a little tight, but I love it. I think it's so cute. Isn't that rock and roll? I love that. What I probably will do is use a necklace suspender on this so that it's not as tight because it is a little too tight for my wrist, but it is so groovy um, that if I use a couple necklace extenders to hold this together, it'll be just fine. I love that. That is so Art Nouveau Revival, 1970s, Mwah, perfect. Next little baggie. Ooh, there's a pear. Oh my God, I don't even know what to do. I am obsessed. Oh, I didn't think anything could get any better in this bag. Holy crap. Look, they're brooches. They can also be made into um, necklace pieces or belt pieces because of the way the backs are on them. Oh, y'all, look how cute that would be on a shirt if you took two. Oh, I am obsessed. Oh my God, and that pink color, that pink color has been something I've been really into lately. I love these, these are in amazing condition. Finding a pair of anything is so dang hard. The fact that they sent me a pair of killer crescent moon brooches is amazing. Oh my gosh, I will wear those as a brooch stack on cardigans, you name it. I will, I will rock these. Oh my gosh, these would be so cool in your hair. I just, oh, on the scarf, like yes, 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 yes. Okay, another little baggie in here. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, um, I do think this is more modern, probably 60s, uh, but it does look Victorian. So I love that about it. Very beautiful brooch. Absolutely stunning. It can be worn vertical or horizontal. Um, a great bar pin brooch. Again, this would be great to hold a scarf, great in the hair. Ugh. That is a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. And it's giving me such like Beauty and the Beast vibes. I, I really like this. This is gonna make it into my regular brooch rotation for sure. This is a stunner. I've never seen one like this. Let's see, what else we got in here? I think there's another, ooh, there is another bag. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, ooh, looks like a big necklace. I love big necklaces. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh. Okay, this screams Trafari to me. Is it signed? 
I don't see a sig. Oh, wait, maybe there is a signature. Let's see what it says. Nope, it's Sarah Coventry. But to me, this is very Trafari in style. I love this. I love swoopy, long, dangly necklaces. Yes, come through. I love that. I love that it has the layers already built in. So if you do like a necklace stack, this already gives you like two uh, layers to build with. Oh yeah, so good. I mean, just look at this outfit. Like it's all going together. I love it. I feel very rock and roll right now. <laughs> and I think, okay, I think this is the last piece in the bag. So, ooh, this is a little different. This isn't a typical piece that they would send me, I don't think. Ooh, oh, oh yeah. I, I don't own anything like this and I love this. So it is a long, gorgeous rhinestone necklace. And remember what I said about necklace stacking? Look at that. Look at that stacked with that. Holy cremoli, holy crap. <laughs> I love that. I have actually never seen one of these type of necklaces with the rhinestones inlaid like this. That is a long stacking piece like this. That is so, so neat. They're usually like choker length. So, oh, I love this for stacking. That is great. Oh my gosh, y'all. This was an amazing box. Thank you so much, Sarah, for taking the time to put this box together. I love Redbird so much. I will link them below. So if you want to look at what they have to offer, give yourself a little treat, order a Redbird vintage box. It is, it is just such a fun time. And like I said, woman run business, sustain, sustainable small business, vintage, gotta love it. Y'all, I don't know if I can pick a favorite from this box. I love this bracelet. I love these stack necklaces. They're perfect. The scarf is perfect. I love the weirdo cup. So perfect for my Halloween display this year. But oh my God, this pair of moons out of this world. And that is it, y'all. Please tell me which item was your favorite. And if you like vintage, thrifting, creative projects, and more, please subscribe. And if you ring that bell, you'll be the first to know when I next upload. All right, y'all. Stay creative and bye.